In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the frame or shutter window on an already exposed roll of film that hasn't been marked. What's up guys? Today I want to show you how I find the frames on an already exposed roll that hasn't been marked that you want to shoot again. And the reason I need to do this is I'm doing a film swap with a, a guy out in Spain. His name's Pablo. And if you're not familiar with film swaps, I'll link to that. I did a whole video on how to do a film swap. Basically, you're, you're exposing a role. A friend somewhere else is exposing a role. You guys are switching and then re-exposing those, those roles. It's really super cool, very fun to do. So I'll, I'll link that up below. But anyway, so Pablo, his camera didn't allow him to mark the roll or mark where the shutter window and the frame is. And my preference, I always like to line the frames up between the two cameras. So I, I think it gives better results. And there's another film swap. And I also have an exposed this roll. This is from Anna in Portugal. And just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So here she's marked right here says first frame. So I know to take this rectangular box and line it up with my shutter window and then everything is going to be in sync you know when I go in and develop it. But again with with Pablo's he couldn't do that because his is a bottom load camera. So what I'm going to do is cut a small piece and find exactly where the shutter window starts on the roll that Pablo shot is. Now to do this, we have our, our test roll here of Superior. This is basically, there's nothing on this, but this is going to be our example roll. So this has to be done in the dark. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn the lights out. Okay, so what we'll do is, in the dark of course, you're going to pull this out and you don't want to go too far. You want to go just far enough to to hit, uh, we'll say, you know, most, most cameras it's about 10 inches or so. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to just cut this like so. And then open up our tank. Put said tank there. And we're just going to load this small section of leader that we've cut off we're going to load it up just like we would okay and we're going to develop it okay so now it's light tight and we can turn the lights back on so what I'll do is I'll go and I'll develop the real section of leader, come back and then show you guys exactly how to, to match these up. Okay, so I've went and I've developed that section of leader off of the roll that we wanted to mark. And as you can see, uh, we're, we're about two and a half frames in. All right, so, and you also notice that I cut this on an angle. Okay, so they match up pretty easy. Now, it's, it's not hard to find the emulsion side, but it's, it's just easier, no fuss, when you cut it on an angle, and then it's pretty obvious, like, oh, this is how it goes together, just like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Boop, you got it. So we're going to take our tape, and we're going to play Surgeon, and one side, put some tape on that. Then we're going to take, and we're just going to line it up, Patch it up. There we go. Dr. Chris, to the rescue. All right, other side. You want to tape both sides because you want it to be strong when this winds. You don't, that would suck if <laughs> you get this all set right and then you wind it and pops, you know, pops off the roll because you didn't tape it well. Uh, been there, done that. Not fun. So anyway, okay, I'm actually going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to mark where this because the tape makes it a little bit harder to see. So I'm going to mark that right there. That is the beginning of the new frame. Open up the camera. Okay, you pop this guy in here. All right, now, if you don't already, uh, if you film swap, you probably have these marked, but you'll notice here, or you might not notice, I don't know how, how well it's going to show up there, but uh, I have my shutter window. OK, I have it marked here and here with markers. So this way I know, you know, when the window is covered, I know, OK, here and here is the beginning and the end of my shutter window. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this. I know this is the beginning of the next frame, so I'm going to line that up right there. Okay, so I know that this is now my shutter window right here. Okay, that's my shutter window. So every following frame should line up in order. All right, so now that we got that set up, we're going to have to create like a little bit of a leader end to get this set up. So, kind of like that, and then up. So then holding this in place, because again, you know, you went through all the work to line this up, so you definitely want to kind of keep that in place. And then get that sucker in there and advance. And again, this might be a little bit different. This is just how the F3 works, uh, but your camera may, you know, your mileage may vary. So your, your camera might be set up differently, but this is how this is. So at that point, everything's set up. So I'm going to advance the film. Okay, and oh, there we go. So now everything is set up. I can go out and I can shoot with this, and I, I know, and it might be off slightly. Okay, you know, this is not like an exact science, and I'll find out once I go to, to develop this role just how close it is. Um, it, it may be off a hair. It may be spot on, uh, but, you know, we're just, we're kind of going for an approximation here. You know, we're trying to get the majority of the frames lined up. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll shoot this, and then I'll, I'll come back and uh, see what kind of pictures we get. So those images were from a film swap that I did with Pablo. Uh, he's out in Spain and he shot some Barcelona people for me and I wanted to double expose with people of my area which is in, in Pennsylvania, I'm in Harrisburg and you know as you can see I think it you know we came away with some really cool shots on this roll and if you haven't done a film swap with somebody I would totally, I would highly recommend it. It's really cool. You know, it could be more controlled like the one with Pablo and I, where we kind of predetermined, okay, let's shoot some people, I'll shoot some people, and then you swap. So it can be predetermined and, you know, talked about and planned, or it could be random. Uh, I mentioned Anna in the beginning of the video that I, I have a role from her that I need to shoot, and she actually runs a website called Roll for Roll. And that's where you could sign up, and basically you get anonymous roles from people, you know, around the world, and you get to do the same thing. You know, you film swap with these people. And uh, I would, again, highly recommend it. If you need more info on uh, how to set up and how to film swap and, and all that jazz, you know, that, that video will be linked below. So, uh, as well as the Instagram profiles for both Pablo and Anna, I'll put those below as well. So, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, go ahead and do that because every couple days I'm coming out with new videos. Uh, some are how-tos like this. Others are film camera overviews, but everything's pretty much film photography related. So uh, if that's your kind of thing, you know, go ahead and click subscribe and you get the latest and the greatest. So until next time, whoop, whoop, wrong hand gesture. We'll see you.